Hi guys, Dane here, and uh, welcome to another reading vlog. So I'm currently still reading Mrs. McGinty's Dead. It is Wednesday the 17th of July, and uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Oh, and I'm quitting smoking. I'm on two and a half days, and it's, oh, my noggin is bogging. Oh my days, I have unlocked beast mode. It's 5.45 in the morning, I haven't slept yet because insomnia. But I have made these almond, vegan almond croissants, uh, which I'm about to tuck into, they look delicious. And I'm listening to some people do a Glenn Miller tribute on vinyl. Hey Biggs. Mate, my, my camera's like on fire. Uh, it's currently Friday. It's, is it Friday? Got to get down on Friday. My sleeping pattern is absolutely screwed. Uh, I've been quitting smoking this week. I'm doing well. I'm at four and a half days, which is going well, but it has also given me quite severe insomnia. I've also been feeling quite sick, to be honest. I have been doing some reading, though. I went into town earlier as well. I've also just done a bunch of filming, so that's very exciting. In fact, all I have left to film is a very quick vlog update so that's what i'm gonna do now so i finished reading mrs mcginty's dead by agatha christie this was a pretty solid uh sort of 3.75 4 out of 5. i love that ariadne oliver was in there as well she actually comes into it after throwing an apple core out of a car and hitting poirot in the head which I've always wanted to do because Poirot annoys me. Pretty cool storyline. I also like the fact that Mrs. McGinty is the main character. It's a bit like Rebecca in uh, the novel by Daphne du Maurier in that she's dead, but she's all everyone's talking about and she's definitely kind of felt there in the story, you know? Then I read Deep Cosmos by Project Kyle, who is a fellow booktuber for a Tarden Danes indie read along. This is basically like middle grade slash YA sci-fi. Uh, to me, it honestly felt more like short stories than a, a novel, but it was quite well done. Uh, the editing and proofreading, top notch, good layout in there. Um, not necessarily my kind of thing, but I did enjoy it for what it was and could appreciate it for what it was. The main character also has Asperger's and anxiety, and I thought that was very well handled. It's also own voices, because Project Kyle himself has that. And uh, overall, I gave it like a between a 3.25 and a 3.5 out of 5. And uh, now I'm literally six pages away from the end of Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. I know this is one of Hannah Tay's favourite books. You don't have to read this at Halloween, although it does take place at Halloween. Basically, a young girl is killed while bobbing for apples, which is this British tradition where you have like a bucket of water with apples floating on it. And you put your arms behind your back and then try and pick the apples out of the water with your mouth, basically. And somebody drowns this little girl. And we follow the investigation into that, and we've got Poirot, and we have Ariadne Oliver is in it again. And funnily enough, when her and Poirot bump into each other, they're like, oh, I haven't seen you since the Mrs. McGinty case. So it's quite nice to read those sort of back to back. And next up, I'm probably going to read another one of these little tiny Christies, so uh, I, will, I will update you. But yeah, that's me. I am all filmed. I'm all filmed. Oh, I've done so much filming. I filmed five bookshelf tours in two days. I made bread from the bread maker. And these are chocolate mini croissants, all vegan. I'm gonna go tuck in, very nice. They're amazing. I also made a little bit of vegan custard to go on it. And I'm listening to uh, Terry Pratchett's Feet of Clay. All right, nothing major to update you on really. I'm chilling here with Big E. Uh, I'm nearly through one, two book on my shoe actually. I've been enjoying this, so I've like binge read it. It's currently like noon, I haven't been to bed yet. Uh, I've been doing some tidying and some food and stuff. So all that has been good. Uh, I've just finished listening to my audiobook of Feet of Clay by Terry Pratchett as well. So I'm going to film my review of this. Uh, yeah, and then that's it. Then I'm all up to date. I want to film the snooker booktube tag too. Didn't I, Biggs? All right, I'm watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine and I made this like tandoori kebabs. So we've got some wraps. This is cauliflower over here. I've got... Chili sauce and vegan mayo, jalapenos, and a bit of salad. I'm going in. Oh, look at that, amazing. Oh, yes, I am making a Bakewell tart. A giant one. Oh, this is what my Bakewell tart turned into. It looks pretty good, though. It might be helpful. All right, I'm at Bex's in Oxford. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just making food. This is the same food I had earlier, but I don't think I filmed it. So it's like a quinoa dal with a uh, homemade roti. Very nice. And then we're going to watch the Hunger Games. Beautiful.
All right, Bex is taking too long. I'm going to start. You're here. Hey, it smells amazing. Yeah, dudes, it's so hot. It's so hot. We're having a heat wave. Uh, yeah, but I'm making homemade barbecue sauce. So that's good. It smells really, really good. <laughs> so what I've decided is because like I'm, I'm making this basically because it's in one of my cookbooks and I'm slowly work, working my way through all the recipes. You can already see actually from the sides a little bit where it's simmered off. Eventually it's going to get a bit, a bit thicker and then I'm going to blend it. And I'm going to make these, these fries in my air fryer to try it out. And uh, here we go, here is the recipe, look. Okay, so updates, where are we? Okay, it is currently Wednesday. Um, I haven't filmed for, stop pinging. I haven't filmed for a few days because I couldn't find my camera. Also, if you're wondering about why my hair looks weird, it's because it's so hot. I basically had about three showers yesterday to make sure that I was cool enough to sleep. Um, Bex is back from camping now, and I, so I went to see her in Oxford on Monday, and now I'm back home just working as hard as I can really. I'm trying to make a bit more money, uh, and I've been doing some filming and editing as well. I've finished filming my bookshelf tours now, and also editing them all, so now I literally just have to finish writing them into my next book, which is very exciting, um, my memoirs. Oh! And actually, today I got meat back from my editor for the first round of editing, but she has loads of comments, so it's going to take me ages to go through it. But I'll get there. Uh, I want to talk about the books that I've read since we last spoke. So I finished reading One, Two, Book on My Shoe by Agatha Christie. This actually turned out to be a four out of five. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Basically, a dentist gets shot in his office and uh, just after Poirot's been in to have his teeth checked out as well. And we follow the investigation into what happened. And obviously, I'd been reading quite a few of these shorter style, um, you know, these, what are they, Pan? Pan Fontana. Uh, you know, old school, like these are like what they published the old school uh, sci-fi books in. But this one actually had bigger print than the others, so it was much easier to read, which made it a, just a more aesthetically pleasing experience as well. And uh, yeah, I gave it a four out of five. It's pretty, it's a pretty solid Poirot novel. Then I read Curiosity by Paul Jenkins, and I don't want to say too much about this because I'm going to do a full review. I've, I've tabbed it out. This was actually sent to me by Time for Books, and uh, on the blurb we have a quote by uh, Mike Carey, who wrote The Girl with All the Gifts which I really enjoyed, and he said, uh, A redemptive myth for a mythless age. Clearly Paul Jenkins is a pseudonym for Lewis Carroll collaborating with Douglas Adams. And for me, it was more like Douglas Adams collaborating with Terry Pratchett, which is even better, because I'm a huge Pratchett fan, you know? And this is kind of magical realism. It basically follows this private detective who's hired to find a box of levity, which is the opposite of gravity, and uh, to return it to the Curiosity Museum on Upside Down Street, and uh, shenanigans ensue. And so, yeah, I had that kind of private detective vibe that I like. But also this sort of magical realism, this idea that all, you know, in Harry Potter, like how it's set in our world and this magic's just happening behind our backs and we just don't know it's there. And it was similar with this where you have to like unsee the world to be able to actually see the magic, which I thought was cool. So yeah, I gave that a pretty solid four out of five. And then I finished Bill Bryson's Neither Here Nor There Travels in Europe, which I was reading as a bedtime book and then I switched through as my main book. I read Notes from a Small Island a few years ago and really enjoyed it and gave it a 5 out of 5. And for me, that was enough for me to want to buy every Bill Bryson book. So I've started collecting them. This is only my second or third one of his that I've read. And I was kind of disappointed by it, but for a very specific reason, which was that he hated everywhere that he went. So it was just like him going to Denmark and going to Copenhagen and be like, oh, everything was too expensive. And then he goes to like whatever Bulgaria and he's like well inflation's really bad so I couldn't buy any cigarettes and then he goes to like Italy and there's like this graffiti everywhere and I'm just like you know you're lucky to be able to be going around and seeing all these places and he just seemed to complain too much for me you know I mean he did have some highlights as well and there were bits here and there where he made me chuckle it's just it took for me a book like that should make you want to go traveling and I didn't I was like glad that I was home. In fact, I was traveling home from Oxford for part of it. And I was like, I just wish I was at home. I'm so glad I'm not traveling, traveling. So I gave it a three out of five, but I will be reading some more Bill Bryson and hopefully getting my mojo back for him. Uh, and that brings me on to my currently reading book, which is The Dark Half by Stephen King. Uh, the sparrows are flying again and this is basically about a writer who kills off his pseudonym and then his pseudonym doesn't stay dead 
and uh, it's obviously based on Stephen King and his relationship with Richard Bachman, his pseudonym. In fact, it's even dedicated to Richard Bachman, which is quite cool. And yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm only like 50 pages in, but so far so good. It's Madman Reads and Rocks. Well, his band. Also, my chips and my barbecue sauce are ready. This Mini mushroom and leek so pies with homemade barbecue and sauce. I'm and I'm watching Mara. What I like in an isolated closed circle mystery in that they Looks all like whoa, yo. The it's my vegan strawberry cheesecake. Yes, my Look at that. She is so determined Made out of a biscuit base, a buttery biscuit base. I'm going to cut a slice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Da 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 da, I am making this thing. Which is like a quinoa chili. It's actually like a ready meal from a pot. But I've had it before. It's from uh, Aldi and it's really delicious. So I'm just going to give you a quick update and then I'm going to go chow down. I've been trying to hoover. Basically, my floor gets super messy because of having a cat. So I've got like this far and now the hoover's overheated. Actually, let's see. Is it going to turn on? No. So I'm going to leave it for a bit because before I left it for a bit and then it turned itself on. Um, Bex is coming over this evening. Uh, we have been in the grip of a heat wave here in the UK, which is again why my hair looks all fluffy. Wow, it's actually longer than I remember it being. I'm gonna need another haircut soon. Uh, but yeah, we're in the middle of a heat wave here in the UK. Yesterday it got to 37 degrees, which is, I don't know, 100 Fahrenheit or something. But we don't have any air con or anything like that. I don't even have a fan in here. I can't even open the windows because Biggie might escape. So yeah, it's been hot. So that's why I haven't been filming. But hopefully I'm back now. I've got a couple of videos I want to film and I think Bex wants to film with me as well. We were gonna do a review of um, the uh, Joe Hill's Horns and the movie and then also the uh, Lock and Key series he did with Gabriel Rodriguez. So we might do that. Uh, we've been talking about it for ages. So you know, let me know in the comments if you do want us to go ahead and actually get to that. And I'm still reading The Dark Half by Stephen King. I'm about two thirds of the way through. As you can see, I've been flagging it. So I will probably do a review as well. So there's that to look forward to. And uh, later on, we might go to, there's a beer festival as well. So we might go and check that out. Uh, Bex is only actually here like in the evenings. So she's off to see some people in London tomorrow and on Sunday. And I shall just be in High Wycombe, but that's okay. Cause I'm just gonna crack on with some work and, and stuff. So yeah, that's where we're at. Beautiful, I put some crispy onions on there as well. What are we doing, Bex? Oh no. Yeah, read that. It just basically said something terrible was going to happen. Okay. Oh, sorry, you're filming. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. So, what, what are we doing? So, we're playing um, Dead Man's Folly by Agatha Christie. Yeah. So, it's item finding. It's a bit like um, Death on the Nile. It is. It looks a bit different, it. though, doesn't it? No, it's oh, no, more, yeah. It's kind of more comic book style. Yeah. Cool. I, I, I meant the interface as well, but look, yeah. it's got items to find 24. Yeah. Okay. Same things. I think he's just been distracting you when you've been at... <laughs> you like mice, don't you? No, I do. Bex doesn't want me to shame her because she just act asked me. What did you ask me? I didn't ask you anything. You, you, know, asked, you asked me, what's, what's a siphon? A siphon. A siphon, yeah. Biggie? Biggie, what's this? What's this? Where did this other cat come from? Where did this other cat come from? And why are you so soft? Hey, why are you so soft? You're just always like that. You always that soft. Always that soft. What do you have to say to your fans on the internet, Biggie? Nothing. We're going over here now. We're going to go sit on the post again. We did a bit of charity shopping today. So here's Bex's little pile. So she got Nosferatu. Uh, and then Peter James, she got The Billionaire because uh, I've got that and I haven't read it yet. So we'll probably buddy read it. And then she got The Exorcist and Fever Dream uh, on my recommendations. And then she got two box sets of The Chronicles of Narnia. All right, Biggs. Because <laughs> she's going to have one and she's going to give one to her little cousin. And then here's my stack. So I got some vinyls. This is Jasper Carrot. <laughs> 
and then this orchestral magic thing which is like eight vinyls uh, the tide is high by blondie and dub be good to me by beats international on single I've got this penguins poems for life thing for 50p so I'm gonna try and resell that uh, I got the Narnia box set as well and I got the box set of Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter's Long Earth thing and Holes, Louis Sackar, The Hunger Games, some Malcolm Gladwell, Jean Reese. Yeah, cool. I'm just doing some editing. Oh, okay, so update time. It is Saturday. Uh, Bex came over yesterday and we did. We made it to the beer festival, so we had a couple of beers there and some vegan pizza. Uh, it was all right. The beers were nice, actually, so that was good. And they had, like, a DJ. Uh, and then we went to Morrison's on the way back just because we had to walk past it anyway and then we came back and we played some Dead Man's Folly so that was lovely and then today we went charity shopping earlier so I have all these things that I just mentioned got to do a haul of them so I'll be filming that in a little bit and uh, yeah now Bex has gone off to London I think she's going to see a play and then tomorrow she's seeing some family so she's staying in London tonight and, I'll, and then coming back here tomorrow so uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Cool. Quesadilla! Oh, look at that. And it's got habanero in it, black beans, roasted red peppers, sweet corn, vegan cheese, avocado, all the good stuff, onion, garlic. Right, I'm off to the art center where the Sunday jam is on. Uh, just gonna have a quick sneaky pint now. I'm gonna meet Bex there on her way back from London as well. And Biggie's in bed, aren't you Biggie? Is that comfy? Yeah, all right, I'll leave you cleaning yourself. Look at him, look at that. Look at him go. What? <laughs> Bye then.
I made more delicious almond mini croissants because Bex is here and she wanted to try them and I wanted to eat them and they're good and we're watching the Hunger Games M Mocking Jay part two. Biggie's all dressed up aren't you Biggie? Because you wanted to be formal for Hunger Games Sunday. Sunday best. Sunday best. Sunday best for Bex and Dana. Mm. I'm sitting here wearing shorts, so just Biggie. He's very happy about it. I'm in the process of making shepherd's pie. It looks very good. I'm gonna go and put it in the oven. I'm watching PewDiePie play Minecraft because, of course, I am. Uh, it's also what are we? Oh, hello. Oh. It's also Monday evening, um, I've just put on a, uh, a, a vegan shepherd's pie to cook, so hopefully that works out. Also, actually, I'm going to be starting a vegan uh, YouTube channel, so I will link to that below. Um, I'll probably do like an official announcement video on my channel once, uh, when, once I've got some content on there, but yeah, certainly looking forward to that. Let me just mute my computer. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick update at the end of this vlog. Uh, I've finished reading The Dark Half by Stephen King. Probably going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. It was pretty good. One of his best, I would say. As you can see, I've taken a whole bunch of notes. So I'm going to do a review of that shortly. Uh, and I'm also going to do um, a review of this as well, which is my next book, which is The Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis. So this is the, the first book in the Narnia series. I've read most of it now in like a day or so, and yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. So I'm planning on doing, slowly but surely, reading through all of the Narnia books, and I'll do a one video that reviews each of the books going through. And this will be my first read of them. I think I did read The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe when I was a kid and, and DNF'd it. So uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. But yeah, that seems like a good place to love you and leave you. So as always, thanks a lot for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.